Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan Kennedy. We're looking at the Waratahs Masters B grade, 26th of March. This was at the Lansdowne course. So it's a crit course out west, uh, Western Sydney. And super smooth, buttery um, pavement. Oh, really, really nice crit track. Half of it is uphill, so this part up here is <coughs> basically uphill. And uh, then you've got a straight all the way to the finish line, and then it's downhill and uphill. So uh, pretty cool course, a lot of technical corners. Uh, and you can see I'm making a few places here because this is uh, the end of the pre-lap. So you can see the lap timer down there, uh, 31 minutes. The race that we're doing today is a 50 minute plus one lap. Uh, although it went for a bit longer because of um, A grades finish, uh, delayed us a bit. But um, but yeah, so I'm sort of squeezing myself through here, making sure that no one's gone off the front. Um, you know, I'm no expert with crits, but essentially in my experience with doing crits, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of breakaways that happen and sometimes actually stick pretty well right after the, the mid-race mid sprint preem. So I've gone to the front, I'm pushing the pace a bit. Um, and this, I, I didn't really have too much strategy in this. And you know, any power that you put down in the front, it does hurt the riders behind you, but obviously I can't see that. Um, uh, but yeah, I've created a mini breakaway. Two of my teammates, Phil and Lucy, uh, come through and we do a bit of a breakaway. Uh, for about a lap, we get caught, um, but then I'm sort of drilling the front for a bit, so. Uh, no reason. Again, I had fresh legs. Um, I shouldn't have been working on the front. I'm a sprinter, uh, but I had fresh legs coming into this. I've been um, sort of tapering off for the B2B, which is the uh, uh, UCI Grand Fondo next week and Hill Climbing Championships uh, in New South Wales as well. So they, they happen on two successive days out at Bathurst and, uh, and yeah, so I, I'm coming up to peak form and um and my legs were fresh so i did pretty okay in this race um i was pretty happy with my fitness levels so you can see there 34 minutes in um i'm leaving leaving the front leading the pack this section here is super fast you can't really uh pedal through the corners uh and you can see uh, a few of the guys uh, sort of really driving the pace once i've i've stopped and um you can see I'm putting a bit of power down here just to sort of catch onto the back because uh, I do want to keep that frontal position. Uh, and frontal position is so important when it comes to crits, mainly because essentially uh, you can do anything from the front. You don't get affected by the concertina or like surging effects of a crit race. Uh, you can respond to attacks. Uh, you know, if there's a preem that's called, you're in prime position for that. And, uh, and yeah, so you can see the timer down below. You've got 52 minutes on the clock. Uh, Tim Alden, getting a bit twitchy in front of me, one of my teammates from Sydney CC. And again, we're sort of top six, seven riders. Really good positioning coming into what we thought was the final lap, but um, they called it uh, off. Uh, we had an extra lap added on. Phil, another one of my teammates, attacks. Uh, obviously quite fresh legs. Uh, these guys are forced to chase because I'm not going to chase down my own teammate. And all I have to do is essentially just catch onto the back. Um, again, as a sprinter, I'm pretty happy anywhere from first, well, second to 10th wheel. I'm, I'm in a pretty good place. Um, so that was good. And uh, Phil, unfortunately, got brought back. Uh, so you can see we're passing him here. He's got the, the red bike on the left-hand side. There's an attack by two Waratahs riders, and I just go up the road with them. So it's a pretty good bunch. Um, you'll see it gets strung out like this when the pace moves up. Uh, and that's because you know it is surging quite, quite rapidly. But also when the group strings out like this, it's very hard for people to overtake because anyone that wants to overtake will be in the wind. Um, so as long as the pace is kept high, uh, as long as the group strings out, you're gonna have that advantage of really keeping that, that frontal positioning. So, um, everyone's getting pretty twitchy. This is the last lap, so I'll narrate the entire last lap. Um, if you haven't watched my videos before, you'll see that my, my heart rate is super high. Uh, it's actually 222 at the moment. Um, that's, it's not a faulty heart rate monitor. It's not a false reading. Um, I, my right uh, ventricle um, pumps a 
normally uh, in correspondence to my left ventricle, which is the important uh, strong heartbeat that you have. Uh, so my max can go up to 240, 245. Um, so this is still quite hard for me. I just sort of keep it, I probably should remove it from these videos. Uh, I get questions every single video about it. But, um, but yeah, so coming as a last lap, I'm, I'm on Tim Cook's wheel. He's a big, strong, powerful rider. He's actually one of my teammates and provides a really good draft as well. And uh, I've got the race secretary of Sydney CC behind me, Phil. And, um, and Phil just he yells at me to, to get on Tim's wheel. Uh, and just as Tim attacks, he's, he's telling me to get straight on that attack. So Tim attacks here, big, strong attack. Um, and this is coming into the uphill section, so quite a devastating uh, place to attack because there's really no no hiding from uh, from gravity essentially. And um, and I'm straight on his wheel. I'm hoping that he can really sort of deliver me to to the line. And um, and he's going pretty hard. And as soon as he sits down, I know that this is not this is not sustainable. This is not going to last. Um, so this goes into the uphill section again. A lot of technical corners. And, uh, and I find myself on the front. Now, as a sprinter, um, you don't want to be on the front. You're taking a lot of wind. You're wasting a lot of energy. Uh, you want to conserve your energy for that final sprint. Uh, a few of the guys behind me are screaming out that there's an attack coming. So some of my teammates are warning me. I rev up, and, uh, and I'm able to get straight onto that attack. So you can see, um, being prepared for that attack, I had some of my teammates call out. And, uh, and I'm able to jump straight onto that attack and essentially get a free ride all the way to the line. So this guy, uh, pretty big engine, it's pushing pretty hard. He wants a, a podium place and he starts attacking quite early and, uh, and all I have to do is um, push a bit of power and, um, and yeah, I was able to get across the line. Uh, so that was my first B grade win. Um, pretty happy about it. Uh, it was it was a pretty difficult race, and my first race on on tubeless tires as well. Uh, so they were really quite comfy, but I uh, really enjoyed myself. If you haven't subscribed uh, and you like the race commentary, uh, please do. More of these videos to come, and I'll see you guys next time.